Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No way. This is f***ing incredible, dude. This is amazing. Holy. The resolution on this is silly. My god. You can see wear and tear on the treads. Look at this. Why is it so detailed? <laughs> Nvidia stole the show again last night with the announcement of the new GeForce 30 series graphics cards. The next step in the RTX revolution, promising AI-powered acceleration with almost twice the performance per watt of the 20 series predecessors. CEO Jensen Huang announced live from his kitchen the official specs of the RTX 3070, RTX 3080 and the most powerful Nvidia GeForce GPU ever released, the RTX 3090. The 30 series cards are based on the new Ampere architecture made using a unique Samsung 8 nanometer process with a redesign of the GeForce tech present in the 20 series with second gen RT and third gen tentacles as well as enhanced streaming multiprocessors. The results being massive advancements in performance, a redesign of the power connector which is now 12 pin, a new super dense PCB design which is 50% smaller than before to allow for the new Ampere thermal architecture architecture flow-through cooling system. Needless to say, these GPUs are pretty exciting and awesome cards not just for ray tracing but for standardized rasterization too. Also announced were some exciting new features and apps. Firstly, NVIDIA Reflex ensures you have the greatest advantage when competitive gaming with the lowest latency and the best responsiveness. Reflex dynamically reduces system latency by combining both GPU and game optimizations, especially when used in conjunction with the latest G-Sync enabled monitors. NVIDIA Broadcast is a new software suite aimed at streamers, offering AI-enhanced features designed to set your broadcasting apart. Firstly, it'll remove background noise from your microphone feed, so whether that's a dog barking or your doorbell ringing, to ensure that you get a clear transmission. You can also control your background by blurring it out or even creating a virtual background, removing the natural backdrop of your camera feed and replacing it with game footage or other imagery without the need for a green screen. Finally, the auto frame function zooms in on you and uses AI to track your head movements, keeping you at the center of the action, even if you shift from side to side. With these three great features, NVIDIA Broadcast is like having your own professional studio and camera person. NVIDIA Omniverse ensures creating rich and compelling machinima content has never been easier. Through NVIDIA Omniverse, creators can import assets from supported games and many third-party asset libraries into the platform. Tools for character posture, voice and facial construction work seamlessly with background and scene creation facets to result in physically accurate and dynamic content. Then we have NVIDIA I.O., which is a suite of technologies that enable rapid GPU-based loading and game asset decompression, accelerating performance for NVMe SSDs. When used with Microsoft's new direct storage for Windows API, RTX I.O. offloads dozens of CPU calls worth of work to your GeForce RTX GPU, improving frame rates and enabling near instantaneous game loading. So back to the cars themselves, when can we get our mitts on them? Well, the first car to launch will be the flagship RTX 3080 on the 17th of September, packing a punch with 8,704 CUDA cores, boost clocks of up to 1,710 MHz, 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, with a whopping 760 gigabytes per second bandwidth on its 320-bit bus. Next to market is what Jensen calls their BF GPU. It's the RTX 3090, a week after on September the 24th. This beast of a card boasts 10,496 CUDA cores, boost clock speeds of 1,700 MHz, 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory on a 380-bit bus, pushing 936 gigabytes per second bandwidth for amazing results, claiming 60 frames per second is possible in 8K gaming. And those interested in the RTX 3070 will have to wait until October to get their hands on one. 
but as the card is faster than the RTX 2080 Ti and less than half its current price, it'll gain a legion of fans prepared to wait it out. It comes complete with 5,888 cores, 1,730 MHz boost clock speed, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory with bandwidth of up to 384 gigabytes per second, 256 bits bus. You can view the new range of NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series graphics cards, of course, at scan.co.uk. We'll also have a whole new range of gaming PCs built by 3XS Systems, featuring these awesome new 30 series cards. So be sure to keep an eye on our website from the 17th of September. And to make sure you don't miss out, press the Notify Me button on the dedicated Ampere webpage. This is 8K, sir. I can see everything. Oh, I need to shoot you, though. Not a whole lot of people have seen something like this. This is so realistic. I feel like I'm really in battle. This is insane. Ty, I want to look at the pretty things. There we go. Dude, the ray tracing is insane on this. These are the sizzle reels that you see. This is basically hacks. And then it's like, it'll never look like that. But it does. <laughs> I'm like looking across the vistas, the grand vistas that are happening right now. Holy sh! Look at this. This feels like a Disneyland experience. Oh, it is so smooth. It's butter.